Ultimate Hoops. Two times. City champions again, the franchise. Let's bring this trophy out here. Yeah. Trophy presentation time. All right, uh, we start here with Pat Armstrong. Pat, second one in a row. What was the difference this season? Oh, man, we just doing the same thing, playing hard, hitting shots. I don't know, just winning. We play together good as a team. <laughs> you know, do. I don't know, Buckets, is a, I think we're a tough matchup for them. So, you know, they got, two, they got a bunch of big guys, and uh, it just worked out in our favor tonight. Mike, tell me, you, okay, you're, you battled knee injury. I don't see the brace on right now. But uh, you missed some games this season because of uh, the knee injury last year. Is this one a little special coming back? Oh, yeah. I didn't get to play then last year. So uh, I, uh, I warmed up extra hard for this one, and I think it showed tonight. And over here we got uh, Mr. Phil Wallace. Phil, uh, you always like to hold the hardware, man. What's, what's, that, what's going on there? This is a good feeling, you know, be the champion. But, I mean, this time it was, it was a guard play this time. They did a great job this time. They was attacking. It was hitting threes. It was hitting on all cylinders. If I, if I drove, kicked out, they would knock it down. They made it real easy this game. It's right. that I did. It was all them. And he's doing the heavy lifting, though. That's why we got yeah. him here. He's doing the heavy, yeah, heavy lifting. He's got to guard the big cats. <laughs> you know, and it, you kind of said something, too. I got Ryan Brown. He's a two-time Chicago MVP. But that being said, you guys got tremendous balance. A lot of good guys around. you think these guys have a lot to do with that? Oh, hell yeah. Um, the guys play well. You know, they, they deserve. Yeah. They, they, they deserve. One of these guys besides me definitely deserves the MVP this time. So, yeah, um, let's keep going hard. We'll see, it out, see you guys next season. And uh, I'm going to Disneyland. I mean, that's all it is. Disneyland it means Vegas. I, th I think I heard Ryan was going to Vegas. Yep. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, just, I think we bought 30 and 1 in the last. I mean, let's check the books. I don't know. 31? 30 and 1? I mean, what, since we've been up here, I know we haven't. But I can't remember the last time I more, lost. I must have been hurt that game. I more, think I was sick that day. More importantly, I think we're like 20 and 0 against Warrenville. Oh, that, that that's not true. That's that's false. But we're gonna go over here. I need I need to get this guy in real quick too. Uh, Jeremy Parker. Now Parker, you played for Buckets last season. You came to the championship, lost to these guys, and then somehow free agency, <laughs> they picked you up. What's it like uh, getting your first Ultimate Hoops championship? It's, it's great. It's nice to play with people that have uh, great basketball IQ and uh, just want to share the ball and hustle really hard. So um, it's a privilege to play with these guys. I'm really happy that they let me play with them, and it's nice to have a championship. So I want to bring Mike Bricks in here too, okay? Yeah! Bricks, to me, to me, you're kind of the most underrated players in Chicago. You, you, look, you go look in the, the stat sheet. You know, about five points a game, a couple assists, a couple of rebounds. But I think you're kind of what makes this uh, engine flow. Tell me a little about your play. <laughs> no, it's just easy to play with these guys. He's making it easy for me. I don't have to really do anything. I'm the player coach. If they get out of line, I make them sit. That's it. There's not so, much to it. <laughs> so, you, so you make them sit. If a couple turnovers, they're sitting on the bench. i to yell at them a few times, but I do want to say something. Okay. Rewind the tapes from last year. Because I, at the end of my interview, I said, we're coming back and we're winning two in a row. And you can see, unlike Warrenville, we can talk the talk and walk the walk. No disrespect, though. I said one thing. No disrespect. So we got one more member here, Jimmy Saris. All right, Jimmy, you're uh, new to the franchise this season. Came in, you hold up the hardware right away. I'm the talker, the cheerleader. <laughs> Well, from, yeah. from what I heard, this is this was the rumor going around, is you were on the outside looking in, man, this great league. I want to get in here, join Lifetime, and uh, be a part of this league. Is this, is this true? The joining Lifetime part? Not, you know, maybe. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, of course I wanted to join this team. They're a great bunch of guys. Just wanted to play with these. As you can hear, I lost my voice from yelling too much. Yeah. Getting these guys all pumped up and going. That's pretty easy to do, though. Pat, I'll let you tell where you get to it. Yeah, it's, it's just it's what he said. They they haven't they've played in five leagues now. You've won uh, five club titles, and this is their second city championship. So pretty pretty impressive resume. But uh, one more thing, one more thing. UH Ultimate Hoop Chicago. I'm out. Ultimate Hoop Scottsdale. Here I come. <laughs> so you heard it here. Moving to Arizona, looking to hey, jump on a team in Scottsdale. We want to thank Pat for, for the drinks he's buying us tonight. We want to thank <laughs> yeah, Pat for yeah, Celebration. Ultimate <laughs> <laughs> There it is. All right, guys, congratulations.